Welcome back to a new video guys. Today I am in a, another province here in Thailand. I've just taken the train about a couple hours from Bangkok to the province of Pranakon Sai Ayutthaya. It's the province where the famous Ayutthaya temples are and today we're going to be spending this afternoon exploring the town. Maybe trying some local food, seeing the temple, seeing the most important sites here and really just going with the flow. First up on the menu or first up on the to-do list is maybe a cafe, maybe a coffee, a quick bite to eat, and then into the park where all the temples are. Uh, it's no, long okay, black. Okay. It's um, Americano. Yes, it's okay. Alright, we just sat down here at a cafe and I believe it is called Bird... No, what is it? Chirp Cafe and Chirp Space or Bird Cafe and Bird Space? I'm already forgetting. Ah, it's Chirp Cafe and Chirp... No. Why can I not get this right? Chirp Cafe and chat space because there's a big section outdoors where you can sit, hang out with friends, talk, listen to music as you can hear here, which is definitely not YouTube friendly. But it's a very, very cool environment. You know, there's a big wooden structure where the cafe is inside. You can sit in there with big glass windows and look outside to like the courtyard. There's the area here where I'm sitting where it's like rocks and tables. And then they have like a little pavilion over that way. And over there, there's like a small pond where you can kind of hang your feet over as you're sitting and drink a nice coffee. Not sure if there's any fish in there. Maybe we should go check. All right, the coffee is here. This right here is just a long iced black Americano. It is about 90 baht, so it's not a bad price. But it seems like this area, this town in Thailand, this tourist destination is very touristy. And this cafe is very influencer friendly. Wow, that's really strong. Interesting. Check out the logo on this. It's just uh, three shapes. That's it. I wonder what it means. So can you see there, uh, maybe that logo there is supposed to be some sort of bird with a wing as the person behind the camera just pointed out. So I just came from Bangkok and to get here to Ayutthaya you take a local train. It is about 15 baht per person. Super super affordable but you might want to get there early because the train gets really crowded and you won't have a seat and you'll have to stand up for a while. So it is Saturday and maybe that's why it's also really crowded. It's because it's the weekend so you have locals and foreigners come in here to visit. But it does get very crowded so just know that. And the total time of travel is about two hours or so. Uh, we left at 11.15 and we got here just about one o'clock. So it's actually just about two hours, give or take. It does make some stops along the way. People get off and get on. Alright, this town is already interesting enough. Check out this. It's like an ambulance, I think. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but it's got rims on it. Gotta go out in style, you know? So those are the little tour trucks. They're about three-wheel vehicles. And you can take one of those that have a tour around. They can transport you where you need to go. But we're doing it by foot. Winging it. Admission fee, 50 bucks. Not eating, you not eat, not drink. Okay. okay. No food or drinks inside. Alright, just entered the main park here in Ayataya. This is the one big area where a lot of temples, and Buddha statues, and uh, different things are attached. Or not attached, but you know, within the same area. Uh, it is 50 baht for a foreigner to come in here. We can't bring food or drink because she told me to throw away my drink. Yeah, it's pretty affordable. Now I think it said if you're a local maybe it's free because there was no price on there. But if you know anything about Ayataya, it's really famous for many things. 
And one of the most famous things is the the head, the statue that is within the tree. Like the tree grew around the statue or somehow it magically got there. I don't know anything about it, but that's what I'm here to see. That's the uh, number one reason why I wanted to come here. So I believe we're walking up on it now as everyone's near this tree. Wow, that Buddha head is really, really interesting. It's inside of like this tree, like the tree is growing around it or grew around it, right? Uh, it doesn't look like the tree's growing too much more as they've chopped a lot of the branches off. But there is like a big stone wall and then the tree kind of grew up over both sides of the stone wall to meet in the top. And then on one side is the Buddha head just sitting there. And you can take pictures of it and everything like really close to it, but you must sit down. It's a way to pay respect to it and not stand over it. Really fascinating. There's a lot of people over there, so I just quickly took some shots and then kind of carried on. Uh, as it is the weekend here in this park to see these ruins, to see these temples, there's many people here. Check this out here, guys. It looks like they've created some virtual reality or 3D imaging that you can use with your mobile phone. You download this app and then you can actually see what the structure really looked like before because now obviously it's more in pieces and ruins but if you download the app you can see exactly what the structure looks like that's pretty cool AR smart heritage wow pretty clever as you can see you have your Instagrammers people taking fancy photos again now one of the most fascinating things about this temple complex here is all these temples that you see, every one of them are leaning. It's like the ground has begun to sink and the temples are leaning. So you know, maybe in a few hundred more years, there's the potential for them to actually fall down. Now that could be what happened to most of these columns and, and other statues, but look at these. Lots of statues that are broken into pieces, like they destroyed them and then they just kind of place them around to you know, preserve their history and to show where they were before. Wow, oh, it's quite boiling today. The weather is really warm. As you can tell, blue skies, perfect, perfect uh, background drop in terms of, you know, the sky. Much, much more clear here than it is in Bangkok, that's for sure. Maybe less burning, less pollution less congestion of traffic. Here's a market where they're selling all sorts of crafts, Thai souvenirs, clothing, elephant pants, hats. A little gift shop outside of the park that you can hang out at. So that was a quick walkthrough of Wat Mahatat, if that's how you pronounce it. You don't need much time here, maybe 30 minutes. If you have a guide, it'll probably take much longer as they'll give you lots of history and information that you might want to know about each temple and things like that, but it's relatively small. So you pay your 50 baht to enter, you go around, you leave, you can hit up the market that's outside, maybe buy some crafts, some element pants or something, and then carry on. Alright guys, just sat down here in a little local restaurant, got some food. This is some basil fried rice with uh, pork meat and a fried egg. Mm. A little bit spicy, but super flavorful. Really affordable for this meal. It is about 70 baht, so a little more than $2. So delicious. <coughs> wow, that, one, that bite was spicy. There's also nobody else in this restaurant. It's just us, as you can see. Nobody here but her and me. If you hear some talking, it's actually the, the TV above us. They have the local news channel on. 
ี๋ยวเราขึ้นภาพคู่กับเหตุการณ์แบบนี้เนี่ยแหละครับคุณผู้ชมคนหัวสีทองครับเป็นคนสอยคนคู่เก็บสองรายวันแล้วก็ไปสีบูโอเคขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบAnd spoke a very little bit of English, but the best part about it is it was kind of on a different street where there's no tourists, and it was just us in there. And now we're walking down the street to try to work off this food and maybe see some other places around here. We have a few hours until the train leaves to go back to Bangkok, so who knows what we'll get into? Nothing's planned today. It's just kind of you know going with the wind and. Uh, We'll see what happens. Just stopped over at the train station to check the times of the train to make sure I don't miss the train going back. There are three train options, as I just seen. You have the ordinary train; it's 15 baht. That's the one I took to come here. Then you have a uh, rapid train. It's 61 baht. I believe it's like second class with maybe just a fan, no air conditioner. And then there's a third train that is called like Special Express. That has air conditioner. The seats are like first class or something like that. Like much more comfortable than any of the other trains. But it's very expensive at 341 baht. So you have your options and what you can choose from. If you're not sure what time the train is going back, there's actually a big map. A big time timetable chart in the station, in which you can check the times of when they're going to arrive back to Bangkok or maybe Chiang Mai or wherever it is that you're going. And if you got time to kill and you want something to drink, something to eat, there is a cafe restaurant attached right to it, so you can definitely chill out and relax. We're just walking down the road here, and uh, look at this. There's a wild duck, a goose, crazy animal with a weird shaped head. I don't know what it's doing in there. I think it might be it got stuck. Oh man, look at this crazy dog. It's just laying in the road. No Fs given. Traffic coming. I mean, not as much traffic right now, but... Hopefully it's not hurt. Maybe it doesn't have like a broken leg. All right, we've just made it down here to the floating market here in Ayutthaya, and currently where we are is the entrance to the floating market on the left, over here. And then over here, there's a bunch of restaurants and places selling food and clothing stores, and then elephants. You can ride an elephant if you like. So I walked over to the floating market entrance and it appears that there is about a 200 baht entry fee for foreigners, free for locals. I'm not really sure what that includes, maybe some sort of performance, but it's not really worth going in there right now because it actually closes in about 40 minutes. So not going in there, but we're over on the other side of the street where all the vendors are, the shops, restaurants, and you can see the elephants behind me. And then also there is a temple in the background or a ruin as you can see there. Pretty nice view. Oh my god, do you hear that? Is that an elephant or is that like a tiger? Oh, check out the little cute puppies. 